If you are self-employed or making a considerable amount of money outside of your ISA with your investments, then you may know by now that you do need an accountant to do your taxes at the end of the year. However, for those who go through accountants, you may know that, you know, keeping a track of your expenses and your income can be a daunting process. So in this video, I'm going to show you a brand new feature of an app that I've talked about before that will help you keep track of your income and expenses so that your tax return could be as simple as possible. Now I've made one video about tax scouts before and I actually use them to do my self-assessment form for the past tax year because of course I am self-employed as a YouTuber. However, what I didn't realize was that Tax Scouts actually have an app that you can download from the App Store and inside this app they have a new feature that I'm really happy to talk about. Now if you would like to use Tax Scouts for your accounting needs or self-assessment, they make it very easy to do your tax return every year. All in they currently charge £169. However, if you use my link in the description box down below, you will get 10% off of that. But anyway, let's check out this new feature, which is invoices and expenses. You're probably keeping track of your invoices, your expenses, your income through spreadsheets, which can get really difficult at the end of the year, especially as your business becomes more complex, you get more clients or customers. Now with this new feature, you can create your own invoices, track your ongoing expenses straight from the Tax Scouts app. And when it's time to do your tax return form, everything will just already be here. Send it off and your accountant will pretty much do the rest. Now, if you're not familiar with Tax Scouts, basically you get yourself your own personal accountant. As you can see down here, I have my accountant, Akash Patel. I'm not going to scroll anymore because his email address will be there and I don't want people to email him as his inbox will be full. But anyway, you get your own accountant and he or she will help you, you know, with your tax return. If you do need actual further tax advice, you can book a call with them. You can see here a 30 minute phone or video call and that is currently 139 pounds. If you use my link, that would be 10% off too, I believe. But anyway, let's go into this menu here. Now here with the Tax Scouts app, you can manage your self-employment finances. Furthermore, you can connect your bank account so that your incoming and outgoings can be monitored. Remember, even if you are a business owner, if you're paying yourself, you still will have to do your self-assessment and you're going to need an accountant for that. Tax Scouts just makes it simpler. If you connect your bank to the app, then all your incoming and outgoings will be there, itemized, and then it's very easy at the end of the tax year to go through everything. There are two menu bits here, income and expenses. Let's firstly look at the income part. So with income, there are two things that you can do. You can create invoices or you can add your income manually. So let's go into creating invoices. So as you can see, there is an invoice number that will start from one. You can put the date of the transaction. This is great for people who have clients or people who are selling products. You can create your own invoices here. You can put the customer's name here. Sometimes, of course, if you are a merchant, you probably wouldn't want to put your customer's name as they would probably not agree buying a pack of oranges from you they don't want to give you identity but that's completely fine however if you had a client you could put your client's name here you have your name your address your postcode and stuff like that here too and then you can put your description for example one hour client consultation and then you can put your price for me that will be 200 pounds an hour if you're interested that's a joke by the way and then you can add your item here if there was another item you can press delete and then you can see that income you can see one hour client consultation consultation at 200 pounds. You can add payment terms here and you can add notes here. For example, client was very happy. This is more for your own self than anything, but I can add that and then successfully created an invoice. And then you can press save over here. And then you can see there are options such as issue the actual invoice and then send to customer. I don't think I actually want to issue the invoice. So I'm just gonna save it as draft and leave it there. And then if you want to delete that, just go into it, click the menu here, and then just press delete there. You can also download it or change the appearance. There are a few menu buttons here. It's very cool and professional, but of course, I haven't had a client, so I'm just gonna delete that. I don't wanna mess around with taxes there. The other thing that you can do is to add your income. So for me personally, as a YouTuber, I get paid, for example, from YouTube AdSense. I can add all my different incomes, so it's very easy at the end of the tax year to see how much I've earned, then see my expenses, and then how much tax I owe on that. So if you want to add an income, you can press this button over here. You can manually add an entry or upload a file. I'm gonna do both of them just to show you. So adding manual entries here, you can add your own reference 
reference number, I'll just make up a number. You can add the date you were paid, for example, 6th of September. You can add the customer's name, for example, Google AdSense. For the description, you can say payment for YouTube adverts or whatever it is that you do. And then you can add the total, for example, 468. Again, I'm making it up. And then you can press save here. And then you can see under income, you have currently 468 pounds income. So I can also add another income here. Let's give a fake reference number. Let's do customer's name is Ferrari and description is cool car, whatever you want to do really. And then let's say they paid me 600 pounds, press save. Now you can see my income's gone up to 1,068 pounds. Now in addition of doing manual entries, what's really, really cool is that you can add a letter or PDF by going to upload file. So I've just uploaded one of my invoices. You can see it says one moment reading info from the file and it's gonna populate the list. Let's just see how accurate that is. And as you can see, after a bit of wait, it has actually managed to pull some data. You can see the payment date was the 4th of April, 2024. You can see the customer's name here, University College London, and you can see the description. So it's actually got a lot of things right here. I can just make manual amendments here. It's also got the payment amount right, 1,500. You know, I can add my own reference reference number and then press save. And just like that, I've added an income. And then when tax scouts go to check this out, I actually have an uploaded document that you can see here. Now for curiosity's sake, you can actually see this was the invoice that I received for my payment. So all I have to do is just press save here. And as you can see, my income has jumped up. We have our three different entries, two are manual and one is added through document. It is incredibly cool to just add your invoices and it will populate this list automatically. Of course, you should definitely make sure that the numbers are adding up because at the end of the day, the app is just reading the data from the PDF. If it's a scanned copy, it could often affect, you know, the reading. So I'll definitely make sure you are for your own sake, for your own legal sake, that you are making sure that your income is lining up with what you've received and you have the necessary invoices for that. So as it is very easy to add income and keep up to date with everything that you've done so far. If you wanted to, you can delete these at any time. For example, the Ferrari payment, which is not real, just go into it and then just press delete. Very simple, confirm the delete and it's gone. Now, the other thing is of course expenses. Now anyone self-employed will know that it's all about income and expenses, expenses offset income and your taxable amount can be reduced like that. So if I go into the expenses menu here, you can see that you can add an expense entry here. And this is a manually populated list. So for example, receipt number I can just add I can add the date that I purchased it on and then supplier's name for example Amazon and description can be you know car boot I really don't know what's with the car theme today but anyway you can add you know 230 pounds but of course do not add expenses that can't be justified from your business I've got a video on my channel about the allowable expenses as a self-employed person so if you do want to you can check that video out for yourself but anyway when you're done with this entry you can upload the receipt here for proof HMRC is always going to ask for receipts if you manually import your expenses and choose to go through this route instead of applying the automatic tax relief. But anyway, you can press save, you can add notes here and you can see my expenses are 230 pounds so far. You can also add receipts, which I'm just gonna do now. So upload receipt. And as you can see, it's gonna take a moment to read the information on the file. I've uploaded a receipt for a desk that I bought for my studio. And as you can see currently, it's pulled out all the data. You can see that tax scouts have taken the receipt number, the date of purchase, the supplier's name, and even the description. I'm very, very impressed by that. They've got everything right. I don't even have to go into it and check. You can see the correct amount. And yes, I'm very cheap. I bought a desk for less than 40 pounds, but you know what, it does the job. And then I can add notes here and press save here. And as you can see, that is now one of my expenses. I just find managing everything like this to be incredibly simple. And then when it's time for your tax return, all your income and your expenses will be here. Remember as an investor that, you know, if you pass your capital gains allowance, that will count as income. Any interest earned past your personal savings allowance will also be income. So it's useful to remember that as I personally wouldn't put it as income here, but your accountant would ask for it anyway. So it's still important to keep a track of that on your spreadsheets, the dividends that you're receiving, the capital gains that you're receiving and the income on interest. Remember, if you do want to become a customer with Tax Scouts, you can use my link in the description and you will get 10% off. So make sure to check out some of my other videos and I will see you in the next video.